Hello and welcome to Stratford Point Avon College's Student Governor Election Campaign. On today's show, a number of students will be discussing why you should be voting for them as their new governor for 2014. Each candidate will have the opportunity to introduce themselves and answer a couple of predetermined questions. At the end of the show, they'll have all 30 seconds to summarise why you should vote for them. I will now hand over to Liam, who is with our first candidate. Thank you very much, Wayne. Now, our first candidate today is George. Thank you very much for joining us. I know you're very busy oh, in yeah. your campaign. Now, the first question I'm going to ask you is, why do you think the student governor is an important role in the college? Well, you know, it's important to sort of, like, build the bridge between, you know, um, the sort of the establishment of the college as well as the students themselves you know it's important to sort of try and make that link and I think that student governor is a good way to get the students voices heard from you know from the staff and the, the higher up people in the college. <laughs> Excellent answer and um, how, how's your campaign going, going so far? Pretty good you know I've, uh, I've got something on the um, I've got something coming up. I'm not going to spoil it uh, too soon, but uh, just say uh, any fans of The Walking Dead will be quite happy with it. Okay, there we go. Wayne? Thank you, Liam. Well, later on the show, we will tell you how you can actually vote for your favourite candidate, which is very important to make sure that your governor is elected. So, Liam, our next candidate, please. Thank you very much, Wayne. Our next candidate today is Sophie. Sophie, thank you very much for joining us. Hiya. Now, the first question I'm going to ask you is what attributes do you think you could bring to this role? What makes you stand out? For um, I think I have a lot of good attributes student governor. Um, I can provide them with really good listening skills. I feel I'm quite an approachable person to talk to. Um, I could provide them with their confidence then to go and voice that opinion to the governors and the rest of the college really. So. Excellent stuff. Now during your campaign, mm -hmm. do you think you've picked up any skills along the way? Yeah, definitely. Um, from being nominated, that immediately improve my confidence. You have to have a lot of confidence to go and talk to people else. People aren't going to know who you are and how passionate you feel about the campaign. So definitely confidence is a good attribute uh, that I've picked up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Some good answers there. So as we say, voting begins from the 17th of March and if you stay tuned we'll let you know how you the students can vote for your governor coming up very soon. Next we've got Isabel. Isabel, thank you very much for joining us. Hello. And the first question I'm going to ask you is how do you propose to keep the students up to date with things that you're hoping to change? How do you expect to communicate with them? Well, they can come up to me anytime they want. Um, you know, always in the zone at lunchtime and break. So they just come up to me, ask me any questions, and I'm always free to answer. Excellent. Now, I've seen a few of your posters up around college. And how is your campaign going? Do you feel it's going well? Yeah, I think it's going pretty well. Like, I've got quite a lot of people voting for me at the moment. You know, I've got my posts all around college, so hopefully if you see it, vote for me. Okay, excellent stuff. Thank you, Liam and Israel. Yes, as we are saying, the campaign has started already, and around the college you are probably seeing posters, uh, marketing campaigns already started, so please make sure you take note and listen to these guys who have got a manifesto coming up later as to why you should vote for them for their governor. Thank you, Wayne. Now, our next guest today is Frankie. If you want to come over and join me, well, thank right. you very much for taking the time to join us today. No problem. And how's your campaign going? going well? I think it's going at a pretty steady pace. I've got the confidence of quite a few people, okay. which is great because it... What sort of things are you trying to bring in to promote yourself? I want to make sure that everyone can understand that I'm not just here as a face to communicate. I'm actually here to go ahead and communicate and keep keep everything going back and forth between students and governors so that everyone understands what's really going on behind the college. Okay, excellent answer. And how are you going to communicate with those students? I'm going to make sure that they know that they can approach me at any time. If they see me, go ahead and have a chat and I'll get your ideas and keep hold of those and see if anyone else has the same opinion. And I'm going to go ahead and set up an emailing web where they can email me personally and with a full list of why I think this is something that should happen in the college. Okay, brilliant stuff. Thank you very much. Wayne. Thank you, Liam, and thank you, Frankie. Now we come back to our last candidate of the show. And before we do that, just let you know that coming up, each of the candidates will be having a 30-second manifesto to give you reasons why you should be voting for them for student governor. But like I said, here's our last candidate, which is Sarah. Excellent stuff. Now we've had some fantastic answers so far. So Sarah, if you want to come over, and join me. Thank you very much again for taking the time to come speak to us. It's right. So, how do you think your campaign is going, for, going so far? Is it good? Um, hopefully. And how, how have you been trying to promote yourself? Getting a lot of posters out there, or have you tried different things to promote yourself? Um, yeah, and soon I'm going to go into like tutorials and know, tell people what they should vote for me. Okay, so uh, when you, well, if you was to uh, get a student governor role, what sort of changes would you like to make? Better computers. Better computers, you think that's something that's important for the college? Yeah. Um, better classrooms, a better environment, okay. just for like, people to be here. And have you got that information from speaking to other students? 
Um, or is yeah. that your, your sort of your personal opinion? That's not my personal opinion. Okay, excellent stuff. Thank you very much. Wayne. Thank you, Liam. So those are some of the candidates who are running for student governor. As you can expect, some candidates were unable to make today's show, so make sure you look out for their marketing campaigns that are taking place across the college from now. Before we go back to the candidates with their closing manifesto, here's how you can vote. When you sign into your college account on the computers, you'll see a link directing you where to place your vote. Once you're on that link, you'll be allowed to have one vote for one candidate only. That's a candidate of your choice, so make sure you choose carefully. Once you have placed your vote, it will be logged. You'll only be allowed to vote once, like I said. Absolutely. Now, voting takes place between March 17th and March 28th, so if you, make sure you don't miss out on that. And uh, it's going to be announced on the 2nd of April. But if you haven't heard enough so far on today's show, each candidate will now have 30 seconds to convince you guys at home why they should be made student governor. So we're going to start in the same order we did earlier with George. So if you want to tell us what sets you apart from everyone else here today and why you should be student governor. Well, I feel that I'm... Um I feel I'm definitely, I've got like quite a loud voice for a okay. start, I'm able to, uh, it's always a good I'm thing. able to, exactly, it's always a good thing, I'm able to start, ask a lot of people for their opinions and, you know, able to, to get my voice heard for, you know, a lot of people, you know, a broad range of people across the college, I'm very, uh, easy to talk to, you know, I'm, I, you know, anyone can come up to me and talk to me and I feel like, that's really the most important thing when we have a student governor. You know, it's be stuff. communication. It's it's to to stay close to 30 seconds. Sophie, 30 seconds to tell us why you should be student governor. Um, if you want someone who's really passionate about this college and feels that they can make a change all around the college, work with different departments, you know, get better communication between different departments and have make the college more fun and exciting, you know, for people. I feel, honestly, I feel really passionate about this and I've been working really hard. Um, so if you would like, please, please vote for me, if that's your choice. Excellent stuff, so brilliant. And Isabel, 30 seconds, tell us why you should be student governor. Well, I think you should vote for me for student governor because I absolutely adore this college. I am already a student ambassador and student rep, so I think you should vote for me, really, because I know what I'm doing. Excellent stuff, thank you very much, some brilliant answers so far. Frank, if you want to come over and join me again, sorry, making you walk over from there. So if you want to tell us 30 seconds yep. why you should be student governor. Well, I am currently part of the UNESCO educational programme, which is, they are strong believers in getting the youth of today forward at the front, making sure that, that there's a lot of understanding with what goes on behind organisations and businesses. And that's really helping me because it means I know exactly what to put in place to make sure that everything does get done on a tight schedule and that everything does get done in a way that's understandable for all. Okay, brilliant and stuff. And I'm also very a very approachable person, so hopefully that'll help. Excellent, thank you very much. And finally, we have Sarah. You've got up to 30 seconds to tell us why you should be student governor. Because I'm not small, but I have got a big, big voice. Okay, excellent. And I'll definitely make the governors listen to what I've got to say. And if you want the college to improve, then I'm the one to vote for. Excellent stuff, it's a brilliant answer. Well done. Wayne, over to you. Thank you to our candidates. So those are some of the candidates who are running for student governor. The choice is now in your hands. Thank you for watching and make sure you find out the winner as it is announced on April the 2nd. Goodbye. Right.